tree branches cut my arms, causing some bleeding, but nothing that fazed me. I barely felt the burn and the sting. But what was all too easy to feel was that I was their fucking prey. Something that angered both my wolf and me. They were catching up. They were larger than me, so gravity worked in their favor. I hadn't thought the plan through, but the river grew closer. As long as I reached it before they caught up, I should be good. My plan was to go underwater and swim for as long as possible, so they'd lose sight of me and my scent. I see her! Ignoring the overwhelming urge to look over my shoulder, I pressed forward. Murky water appeared between some trees as the Tennessee River came into view. The water didn't appear to move fast, but that was misleading. In spring, there was so much rain that the current was strong. Luckily, the section down here didn't have heavy traffic. The boat stayed mostly north of us, so it wasn't risky to swim around here. I could tell my attackers were almost on top of me. If things didn't change drastically, they'd catch me before I reached the river. I hadn't run over 15 miles to be captured now. Concentrating on my goal, I threw caution to the wind and hauled ass, no longer caring about my footing. I pumped my arms at my sides, trying to make my feet move even faster. As I reached the embankment, the mulch turned into muddy stone, and I leaped, but something snagged my right ankle. No! Twisting my body to the right, I used my left foot to kick the punk in the face. (laughs) His head snapped back, and his grip on me loosened. I fell on my back, barely short of the water, my head dangling off the edge of the embankment. I raised my head to see nine men stalking up only a few yards away from me. If I didn't do something, they'd catch me before I hit the water. The guy I'd kicked was knocked out, so I climbed over and grabbed his gun. I hated using guns, but right now, it was a necessity. I stood and fired at the rest of the men, who were too close for comfort. Take cover! All nine scattered. I waited a second before firing again, keeping a random pattern in hopes that they'd wait to ensure I was done firing before racing after me again. Not far away, the river curved sharply. If I could hold my breath long enough, I could still lose them. After a few more random gunshots, I squatted so they couldn't get a good visual. I fired once again, then let my natural instincts take over. I flipped backward and hit the water feet first, sinking under the surface, and swam as hard as I could, using the current to my advantage. 